Hey guys, A28 Fine Adventure here. I'm going to show you how I wired the lights on my vehicle. Uh, some of you probably did it a different way. Some of you probably made it even look fancier. Um, I just tried to make it look good. Uh, it was probably a little too much. Um, I'm also going to show you the type of wire I used. It really helps out a lot um, when you're running wire, especially to the back of the vehicle. And uh, and it's just kind of a neat little tip that I got from an off-road place. So let's go check it out. Okay. So let's check out the wiring. So I have the Garmin power switch right here. This enables me to wire up lights and control them through an app on my iPhone or any other type of phone. It works great. You just hook up this big power cord. You have a big ground that you hook up here and then you can run your wires to it and you can control your lights. You can also dim your lights, you can strobe the lights, you can set the buttons to, to have customization so they only work if you press the button on your phone, you know, so they just like, just mom, uh, what do they call them? Uh, I forget what the name of that is, but anyway, so it's just when you press, it comes on, when you release your finger, it goes off. Um, that way you don't leave certain lights on all the time. They're more for safety or whatever. So here uh, you can see I use some uh, heat shrink tubing on the ends of all these wires. I put insulation over the wire as well. I didn't need to do that, but it just looks fancy. You can see here where I ran them all. I've got them all grounded here, which I need a suggestion on that. Do you have a good place where I should be doing this? This is the only threaded part on this piece that I could find, and I had a nut that fit it, so um, or a bolt to fit it. So I uh, I've been using that. Um, if you have a better or safer place, or if there's a, a proper way to do that, please let me know. So again, this is what I did. I insulated these wires. I use heat shrink tubing in red because these are all the positive ones. You can see I still have some left over. Um, you know, uh, and you know, that works, it just, it just looks really clean. I think if the mechanic gets in here and starts working around, uh, you know, he'll notice it's a clean job. I attach this to the top of the fuse box here um, with some industrial Velcro. It's not the typical hook and loop. It's more like a hook and hook, uh, but it's very strong and this isn't going anywhere. So I ran some uh, lights to the back of my vehicle. And I'm going to show you those. They're right here on the rough country bumper. They were clear and I covered them with a red, red like a lens cover that you use to repair broken taillights. I decided to use that. It sticks really good if you clean it up well. And uh, I've used it before I had these on my Tacoma. So I had to run these lights to the switch as well. So what did I use for that? Well. I used, you can kind of see it right there, I don't know if you can see this, right here, this thick black wire. So let me show you what that is. And these are right here, see those lights, those are the hood bulge lights. Now those I wired right down here. I have a video on installing that. But it worked out good. I just used that two wire with the red and black in it. And, uh, and that's all I needed to use for that. And I tucked it behind that long black plastic piece right here. And it seemed to tuck away real nice. So that thick black wire comes in all different lengths. It's insulated with this thick rubber black coating. It has one positive and one negative in it. Now, you can buy it like this. I think you can get it 25, 50, 75. Its purpose is basically for running trailer lights, I believe. Now you can also get this right here. And I have used this right here to run the lights to the back. Now you're going, why did I do that? I said, well, I only run, I wanted to run one wire and as long as you keep track of which one of these colors you're using for ground and which one for positive, you can run two sets of lights. So that was my plan. So two of these are used for 
the, uh, the red lights you saw in the bumper, and two more will be used for lights that are going to go on the, uh, on the roof rack up top when I eventually get to that. And you can also buy this in links, all different types. And this is 14 gauge wire with this big insulation on it, but it's basically just trailer wire. Now, that said, you don't have to go to this extent, but I wanted a clean, protective look that's easy to zip tie up, and I don't have wires dangling all over the place. This keeps them all tucked away and perfect. So, again, you can get it two wire with a positive and a negative, and you can get it in the four wire. You might even be able to get it in the seven wire. I'm not sure, uh, like for a seven plug, and then you could even do more, <clears throat> but, so this is what I got. And uh, I just wanted to show you that and share it with you. Uh, because, you know, it, somebody told me that, told me about this at an uh, uh, overland place. They had told me at one time that this works really good and to, and to try it out. And so I did. This is the red film that I used on the uh, back LED lights that are in the bumper. It's just high strength red lens repair film. And uh, I believe you can get it in amber as well. And uh, maybe some other colors. But I've um, got it on Amazon. You know, it's just that good quality 3M stuff. And I will put a link under the video in the description. As usual, because I do that with everything. Now, if you need any <clears throat> heat shrink tubing, man, you can get this stuff in all different sizes, all different colors. Um, you know, I use this stuff all the time. I recommend you getting something really hot to melt it. Maybe like a little torch. I picked up one. I picked up one of these torches at the uh, at the hardware store the other day, and I was like, you know, you check that out. <laughs> That's gonna really help expedite the uh, heat shrink process. Maybe do a little more damage than that. So here's the uh, here's the stuff I put around the wires right over there. Now it is hard to get the wire to go in. But if you squeeze this together like a slinky, it will, it will go right in. Um, you know, it just kind of gives it a nice look, protects it in some way, I would imagine. And, um, and then I can put the heat shrink tubing right over the top of this, the cut part, and uh, make it look really nice, as you can see. I mean, this works for me. And again, don't forget, reach out to me and let me know about this ground right here. And maybe if you know a better way to do it. I would really appreciate that. Hey guys, I also wanted to show you a quick tip. If you have some of this heat shrink right here and you have one of these, you know what they are, they use it for all your wiring and stuff and it won't fit on there. Well, this is what I do. I get a pair of uh, needle, no needle nose pliers in here and I stretch it out. I don't even have to heat it up. I just stretch it out and I, I get it to where it's the right size then check it out. Look at that. And you can do that, you know. You might have to work it a little more. But it works good. And you can go like that. Then when you have it like this, and it's working real good there, you can get your torch. Well guys, I hope you like my video on how I did the wiring of my lights and stuff in the truck. I hope any of the tips and tricks that I mentioned will help you out. It was real easy with that Garmin power switch. I didn't have to drill through the firewall or go up underneath the cab through a grommet or any of that. It's just really easy. That's why I liked the Garmin. It was just um, a little too stressful for me to try to go through the firewall. I didn't want to screw anything up. You know, maybe I'll do that later, but not now, not this year. Um, anyways, remember about this wire. It's great, you know, for God, it just makes it so much easier than having, you know, a couple of wires that you've got to tape up and zip tie. It's just one big thick one insulated and it works great. If you would and you like this video, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button, comment, let me know, especially about that ground. Um, let me know if there's some better ways to ground those wires. I would really appreciate that, and I will see you next time. See ya!